do I think drop shipping is trash. So hello, my name is Austin aka Mr. and welcome back to another video. Do I think dropshipping is trash? No, no I don't. Do I think it's a legitimate business? Yes. Is it for me right now? No. It is not for me right now. Every time I uh, was making the store and trying to find influencers to advertise my products and all of that, I just felt like gagging. It just feels like we've been sold a dream by these bigger guys who got into the market early, like way back in like 2014, 2010, whenever this job shipping started. The people who started in the beginning are succeeding, the people who are winning right now. And that's why they can put titles like Z zero to 86,000 in a day or zero to two thousand dollars in a day and another factor that plays against us is that they are Americans in America and it's a lot easier to have customer support and do the whole refund thing because a lot of the times the refund <laughs> is quite big and imagine handling a refund that you don't see the supplier you don't see the customer in a different country it's just gonna feels a lot harder to do and don't get me wrong I do see the attractiveness of selling in America it's because there's a lot of people who are buying online as opposed to South Africa. Now, what I think you should do is if you started your job shipping journey uh, in America, I suggest you continue with it. Remember, everything that we do and fail at, we grow and learn from. So if you feel like, oh, Ross, why aren't you continuing it, man? Like you you said in part one that you're gonna continue with it. Yes, I will. We have three months free trial and of course I'll dab into it a bit, but came across that you need money to at least do adverts or yeah, you need money for adverts. You need money to do that. And what I did last week, cause I found something else that really interested me was stock trading. Yeah, I took that money that I was gonna invest in Shopify dropshipping cause I did know that you needed money for adverts. And I took that and I put it into stock trading. And well, I got, a a little bit of profits back. I got about 18% back. I put in 500 Rand into the Sassel stock and I got uh, 580 back. It was actually 600, so I had 100 Rand profit. And then in like 20 minutes, it went down 20 Rand. So I just decided to sell, take my 80 Rand profit. And thank goodness I did that because it went all the way down to like 20 Rand profit. I'm glad I did that. And I'm glad that I've in invested more time and effort into something that I enjoy because I don't like Shopify dropshipping. I don't like it. The reason why I don't like it is I've been building brands this past year or so onto products because that's the whole thing about Shopify dropshipping. You need to build a brand in that product. You can't just take a, a picture from AliExpress and post it there and expect that it's going to sell. You need to put a lot of effort into it and cool. If you do that and it works out for you, great. Let me know in the comment section down below. However, I just found that these big guys aren't really telling the truth when it comes to the sales. Yes, they're making the sales, but how much of that is tax? Like half of it. There's also cost involved because they have to buy the product remember it's not all of it is profit uh, at the end of the day if they're making a million rand uh, in sales their profit is probably a hundred thousand dollars which is not bad at all for just finding a market for a product but remember you are got to put in that effort and you got to put a lot of money into advertising as well so it's just ain't for me right now and if you started your journey please go ahead and do so if you succeed in it great but right now for the quarantine purpose I'm stopping the shop for job shipping and I'm putting a hundred and 20% effort into stock trading. Okay, stock trading is just so much interesting for me and I feel like, I feel happy doing it, you know? I feel happy. Even if I lose money here and there, that's cool. Uh, just shop fire drop shipping is boring. It's really, really boring. And I'm sorry for those of you who have started. And if you find it boring too, it's not too late to just stop. If you wanna continue with it and do an experiment and do more into it, great. But what is stopping you from doing it here in South Africa after quarantine? What is stopping you from making your own website and finding a supplier here in Durban because there's a lot of suppliers here in Durban or actually buying goods from overseas and selling here you can definitely do so because I've done in the past and I'm actually continuing to do that as well after quarantine I'll be getting a, a couple of products from overseas and selling it here now if you want to learn how to make your own website then at the end of this week I'll be releasing my course for 350 Rand To those of you who are starting with absolutely zero, I suggest you go and check out this video of mine where I teach you to take zero to a thousand rand. Yes, we're in the quarantine process, so I don't think you can do some selling right now. If you're really interested and you have like 250 rand to 
do some stock trading let me know Hit me up in the dm send me your email address and i will send you a link that you can start stock trading and i think it's a good time to do that right now because the market is very bearish it's a good time to buy low sell high later i think i've said enough in this video basically my thoughts on shopify drop shipping if you're a beginner and you have no money and you haven't started it yet cool don't start it now just don't okay but if you really want if you have a little bit of money to play around with and you really feel like shopify drop shipping in america is the thing for you go ahead and do that but right now if you want to get into stock trading again dm me on instagram i'll send you a link and you can start with 250 rand which is really cool so let's do that i will be very methodical with the things that i do in stock trading so expect a lot of videos this coming week because i feel like the market is gonna do a little flip on us and go up or down who knows but we'll see in videos to come remember to always stay shining keep smiling even on a rainy day and cheers